Well, all I remember is that day that we were cackling. I mean, Heclina and I are problems. When we get together, nothing really gets accomplished. Now, I am absolutely loving Drag Me to Dinner. It's so fun. It's so fresh. And it seemed like it was an absolute blast to make. What was the vibe like on set? Because I'm surprised y'all got anything done, honestly. <laughs> I hate it every second on set. <laughs> I'm surprised yeah. I'm even here to, to tell the story about it. <laughs> no, we had a blast on set. And I had never met Bianca um, or Murray, but I was a huge fan of drag coming into the show and a huge fan of Bianca Del Rio. Um, <laughs> Excuse me, I'm right here. I know. I, know. I, I was hoping that if I whispered, she, he wouldn't hear. He wouldn't hear. <laughs> but I had a, I had a really good time on this show. And then also seeing these drag queens that I have been watching for years and years and years. I mean, my car is named Latrice Royale. So <laughs> yes. A oh. huge, huge what kind of car. Do you know why? Do you know why her car is named Latrice Royale? Because uh -oh. she broke down and she gets around. So that's no, <laughs> that is not why. No, I have she's a, got a flat. I, no, I have a Tesla, one of the SUVs, and, and oh, okay. She, she is big, black, and just curvy and beautiful. It just yes. reminds me of Latrice Royale, so that's what I call it. Expensive, yes. <laughs> Girl, I'm still making payments, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, I loved getting to see drag superstars, both from, you know, drag race and also just the world of drag, which is so much larger. Uh, what was the best part of getting to bring all of these people together? I know, Bianca, you've worked with so, so many of them. Well, let's be real. They've worked with me. No. And what's interesting, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, you know, I, I've said this before in interviews. What I love the most about it is that it's kind of, we go into an episode with two groups of queens. We, they do their tasks. They try to create the best party. We pick a winner and we get rid of the bitches. That's <laughs> what makes it so exciting. So they have literally 45 minutes to bring their best in the edit to be fab. I mean, they were cooking all day. I mean, literally when we filmed it, Hanifa and I being the judges were in another building way around not knowing what was going on so we had no idea what it took for them to create the madness we just got to go in and experience the parties and judge it based off that so for us it was a blast we got to drink we got to eat we got to make judgments on people and frankly that's what me and Hanifa do well we really do we really do but it was and we look cute doing it and we look cute and we love a theme. We love a theme. So we were like, this is actually a lot of fun. And I think he got to show a different side of the Queens. As you mentioned before, some of them have been on other reality shows, including myself. But here it was just complete chaos and absolute fun. And the girls bring in their A game to win the coveted prize of the Golden Grader. Now, where else can you get a prize like that? Yeah, Crate and Barrel? No. <laughs> Dollar store, baby. But still, it was right. a coveted prize and a title. Now, Anna, I love it. Anna, to answer your actual question, <laughs> <laughs> please, please, but, Murray. What I what I really like about this show that that you know, especially uh, coming from me, who's in an uh, underrepresented uh, category within the drag community and within society, is that this show specifically went out and honored the the giants that we stand on today. And no show has done that before. So we, the, they re, the producers and Neil and David, they really went out and got, you know, people that aren't on TV, but it has such huge impact on the community, like Jackie, Sherry, Hecklina, Peaches yeah. Christ, and, you know, and then the Brooklyn Queens and then all these different queens. So I, I think that's great that they we honor the history of drag mm -hmm. and celebrate the new kids and then also celebrate the superstars. So it's a very inclusive show within the community. And I, I don't think another show has done that. Yeah, you, you, what do you think, Yanifa? I don't think so. Well, I think that we do it in a different way. They might be, there might be other shows that have done it. However, we're just straight fun, right? Yeah. Like, there's no real competition happening. We're just yeah. there to have a tackle. I know. Sorry, girl. Um, <laughs> we literally are just there to have a good time. And I think that that gives an ease to the show, right? You don't have to think a lot um, to watch our show. You're just there to be entertained. And I think that the show is super entertaining. It is. And and you mentioned the giant uh, of the drag world. And seeing Heclino was so... So wonderful, such a special episode. What was that like filming and then now getting to release it for all of you? Well, I, I think, you know, 
one thing, there's been so many tributes for Hecklina, and, you know, she is a legend. And I will say, you know, my personal experience, she was a hilarious that day. Yeah. And the thing that is so beautiful about Hecklina is she's always championed everyone. Every like every queen, king, non-binary, gen- they're always saying, oh, Hecklina is the first person to book me in San Francisco or she's the yeah. first person. So she she really is the matriarch. And I think this episode, you know, that we're going to see her in her light and her funniness and also her, you know, that the icon that she is. Yeah, absolutely. I know, Bianca, there have been a ton of uh, drag tributes to, uh, to her. W- what was it like getting to now see this episode come out with, with people getting excited to see it? Well, all I remember is that day that we were cackling. I mean, Hecklina and I are problems. When we get together, nothing really gets accomplished. And I've been able to do some shows in San Francisco along with Peaches Christ, some live production with uh, Hecklina. And the thing with Hecklina was we would rehearse one thing, but whatever happened on stage was a completely another story. So the same thing happened this particular day. She brought the fun, she brought the humor, and I'm so glad that the episode is being aired and she would love it, trust me, because yeah. it shows her sick, demented, rotted, hysterical <laughs> self. And uh, I'm just glad that everybody gets to see it. You know, sadly she won't be here, but of course when you watch this, you go, all right, she was a good bitch and highly fucking entertaining. I mean, we <laughs> laughed our asses off that day. We really did. Absolutely. Well, I can't wait for everyone to get to see all of Drag Me to Dinner. It's so much fun. And I very much appreciate all of your time. 